Hey everybody, Egyptology lovers, I got another project for us today, uh, something that uh, resembles the Egyptians used on their tombs. I'm burning some incense here to make it nice and smelly in here for me. All right, so I'll show you over here. This is what's called a chalk line. This was used by the Egyptians to mark the wall, the tomb walls. So you see the lines here on the pharaoh, I mean on this particular uh, figure here. They had to use lines, they mark them in red and they correct them in black. And then what happens is they get this papyrus and from the papyrus they get the drawings that they can finally do exact proportions to the actual piece. So for example, this is a modern chalk line. You basically pull that out. I'm not gonna do it now because it's gonna pour. And when you're done, you bring it back, you wind it back. So that's what modern chalk uh, construction used for chalk. But what they did was take a piece of stick. I have a little stick right here and they put a little kind of metallic ring through it. And then they attach the, the basically the, the yarn. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna do that right now. So I'm going to take the piece that I have over here. I have to it a little hole so it gets faster. And then we're going to screw that on there. Try to get it in there deep. So you can see a little. Just enough because we're going to tie the yarn around it. So there you go. So this is what it is right now. Also, when they did the tying, they eventually knotted it at the bottom over here. So what we'll do is we'll take a little saw and we'll just give it a little bit like that, just kind of down the middle. You guys can see that. And we'll mark it and then we'll go down like that a little bit. All right, we'll do one like that. Try to get it to the same depth and thickness as this. that you see it's already creating one line and we'll do it a little more thicker and we'll cut a piece out we'll come back with that in a short little while like that a little more all right there's one there and then we'll do the second one Yeah, like that. And I'll do the other one here. Yeah, so you see now it's creating it and we're just gonna have enough thickness to put the rope around. Yep, there you go. So that should do it right around there. All right, so there you go. And the rest, of it, we're just gonna uh, we're gonna etch it out. And once we've etched it out, we'll use like a blade, which I have over here in my kit. So yeah, we'll use a little blade like this, and we'll just twist it a little on both sides, and it should come out like that. See, it's coming out. I gotta tie that down. There you go. You can use a screwdriver. You can use many things, but for now, this is what we're using. We'll just go like that as much as we can until it comes loose. See, it's coming loose, and then I think we got it now. Yeah, so we got a little notch right here. Yeah, a little notch. That, even give it, give it a little more of a grind down here. And there he is. Yeah, so when we take this, and you can see now, it'll knots just fine, it'll lock in. So how does this go now? Well, now that the stick is ready, you have the notch and you have the screw, you just take a little bit, and you tie a knot, just a simple knot, nothing complex. Like that. Now you have your knot locked in the screw. Then you take your drill, 
all right? Like that, and you screw it in. It's a little, uh, knotted out, but that's okay. All right, so there's your, there's your cord right there. So now all you need to do is basically just get as much length as you want and you wrap it around, just twist. You get a measurement for what you need. Now you could try to line it up properly like this. And you just keep twisting. You keep twisting till you come to the rope that you need. I mean, the length that you may that you'll need for the, the the chalk line. Now, when you have the chalk line, they used pretty much a red ochre, and they kind of dipped it in, the, in a powder, uh, dipped it somehow in a powder, uh, in a vat or something, or kind of a pot, and then they basically set up the line on two ends, and then they were able to basically, um, yeah, produce the uh, the chalk line. So in this uh, in this particular case, I'm just gonna go like this. It's gonna be probably a little faster for me, so. All right, so something like that, like this. We'll just go like that, get it in there faster. And there it is. So that's pretty much it. So that's a perfect example of the chalk line. Uh, probably 10 feet is good to have. Uh, in this particular case, I have less than that, but that's okay. And you can see how it's developing. And that's it. 10 feet should do, and you'll have your chalk line, which you could use with the powder. You can buy yourself a little uh, chalk powder for a chalk line and just pour it on there, and then you can do the line. One day I'll do a little bit of a, an example of what I wanted to do, but uh, basically do maybe a temple wall painting. So you see the process of how the Egyptians did it. And that's it. So there it is. And all you do, once you're complete, you spin it around, lock it in you can take give it one more uh one more so we'll go around and over again and that's it your line is locked and that's it that's all you have to do uh and you just cut it and now you have basically a line to to chop with and that's it and then you can use this to pretty much uh make your line so that's a uh, at one point down the line i'll go ahead and do that but there you go there's a perfect example of what the egyptians used they made the wooden chalk line, and I've just done it right over here for you guys. So you see right over there, the wooden chalk line. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And this is uh, the chalk line for the ancient Egyptians.